finding treasures by chance. Philippine Treasure Hunting Law Part 2 Treasures that are hidden in the Philippines cannot only be discovered by treasure hunters. They can also be discovered by some individuals by pure chance or accidents. I know someone who accidentally recovered a hidden Yamashita treasure when he started building his own house. It actually happens that the foundation of his house, which he dug, was the exact location of the hidden item. The same goes to a construction company that I know, who had a project of constructing a huge establishment or building. When they dug the land for the structure's foundation, they accidentally discovered some buried Yamashita gold bars. So, what does the Philippine treasure hunting law says about the rightful ownership of those hidden treasures? Let's find out. The law states that, when a certain person had uncovered treasure from another person's property, state, or subdivisions by chance, one half of the treasure can be given to the finder. But if the finder is a trespasser, no reward or share will be given. The rule clearly states that, when you have accidentally discovered, a certain hidden treasure, on someone's own property, it means that, you are entitled to receive, at least one half, of the treasure's value, as your reward. It's basically the same thing as, 50-50 shares, between the finder, and, the owner of the land. However, the finder, must not be a trespasser. So, if you are the finder, and, one among the construction worker on a property, where, you discovered the hidden treasure, then, you are entitled to receive the reward. But, if you do not have any, affiliation to the landowner, or, the property, then you are considered as, a trespasser. If you are a treasure hunter, and, you asked the landowner for permission, then you are not considered, a trespasser. But on some cases, there are some landowners, who rejects treasure hunters request, from excavating, their land properties. Due to this reason, some treasure hunters will take the risks, of trespassing their properties, in the hopes of not getting caught. I have to admit that me, and, my team, had some experience of taking the risk, of trespassing someone else's property. But, everything was calculated. We, won't be trespassing, if, the risk was too high. The condition was, we already knew, where the item was hidden, and, how long, it will take to recover it. However, I am not encouraging you, to trespass someone else's property. It's because, when you got caught, you and, anyone who is involved, can go straight to jail. The owner, could file a case against you, for trespassing violation, and, perhaps even property damage. Here's the worst part. If the finder, happened to uncover a hidden treasure, on someone's property, but he got caught. The property owner of the land, has the right, 
to confiscate the item, without giving any reward, or, share to the finder. Anyway, if you have any questions, with regards to this Philippine, treasure hunting law, then feel free to ask them, on the comment form below. Moreover, have you enjoyed watching this video? If your answer is yes, and, you are new to my channel, then you may want to subscribe, and, hit the like button. Other than that, you may also want to click, on the small bell icon, to receive notifications, on the most recent videos, that I publish. If you prefer, a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, I recommend visiting my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and, happy treasure hunting.